Hey guys, Alexander here, and in this video we will be covering hypothesis testing on a linear combination of regression parameters in the matrix form of the linear regression problem. So let's remind ourselves first of what the um, general formula of the model is that we're dealing with. We're dealing with a regression model that is in the matrix form y equals x beta plus epsilon, where we have our regression parameters from beta 0, beta 1, beta 2, all the way up to beta p. So this is the scalar representation of that specific model that we're interested in. And what we're trying to model is we're trying to model a linear combination of these regression parameters where and test a hypothesis where they're equal to some value. So what do I mean by a linear combination? So let's get started with that. So what I'm saying is that let L hat, where this is a capital L for a linear combination, be equal to C0 beta 0 plus C1 beta 1 plus C2 beta 2 all the way up to plus Cp beta P. So what we are doing here is we are interested in a linear combination of parameters. So these Cs, these Cs just refer to constants. These are just constants. So they can be anything like zero, one, two, uh, negative one. All we want to do is we want to essentially add a bunch. We want to add something multiplied to these regression parameters together. So how can that be expressed as well? So let's say, for example, we just have a regression um, problem where we have beta, the matrix beta is just equal to beta zero, beta one, beta two, and beta three. So if we have um, C zero, is equal to 1, C1 is equal to 1, C2 is equal to 1, and C3 is equal to 1, then lambda L hat for the linear combination is equal to C0 beta 0, and that is, if we express it out, it's 1 multiplied by beta 0 hat plus 1 times beta 1 hat plus 1 times beta 2 hat plus 1 times beta 3 hat. So that's all that this, these C's are referring to. They're constants that we are interested in, in when we are doing our hypothesis test. So we have some formulation of some, some of these um, regression parameters multiplied by constants that we're interested in. So the way to express this in matrix form is we say that C is a vector of constants. C0, C1, C2, all the way up to Cp, which is our last uh, regression parameter that we're interested in. So all these things, can, they can be zero, they can be one, they can take on any value because we're just interested in testing our hypothesis about them. So this is how the vector C looks like. So L hat is equal to C transpose multiplied by beta hat. So C transpose beta hat. So take this matrix C, take its transpose, so it becomes C0, C1, C2, we're up to Cp, and this is a row vector. And then we're multiplying by beta hat, which is beta 0, beta 1, beta 2, and don't forget the hats, all the way up to beta p hat. And this is a column vector. So when we multiply these out, they're equal to some value. So this will be equal to some linear combination C0, beta 0 hat, plus C1, beta 1 hat, all the way up to Cp, beta p hat. And we're interested in testing a hypothesis where this L hat is equal to some value. And that value, we can call it linear combination zero, L zero. We want to know what is this linear combination of regression parameters equal to. So we're going to test such a hypothesis where it's equal to some value, as opposed to the two-tail test where, lamb, where L hat does not equal L zero. So this is the general uh, form of the hypothesis and the formulation for the um, linear, if we're doing hypothesis testing of a linear combination of regression parameters in the matrix form. So now let's go derive some results of, of L, L hat. So L hat is equal to C transpose beta hat. So what's the expected value of L hat? Expected value of L hat is equal to the expected value of C transpose beta hat. 
And I've told you already that C transpose, this is just a row vector of constants. It's just constants. So we can bring it outside this expectation. So it's C transpose times the expected value of beta hat. And in previous videos, I've already shown you that the expected value of beta hat is equal to beta. So it's equal to C transpose beta. And we can also just call this L. So the expected value of, uh, of L hat is equal to L, which is equal to C transpose beta, just the constants multiplied by the matrix beta. What is the variance of L hat? The variance of L hat is equal to the variance of C transpose beta hat. And that can be written as C transpose multiplied by the variance of beta hat multiplied by C, because we're squaring. We have to square the C transpose to take it out. So it's C transpose multiplied by the variance of beta hat multiplied by C, which is equal to C transpose multiplied by sigma squared hat multiplied by X transpose X inverse. And then don't forget the C over here. So this is what the variance of L L hat is equal to. It's equal to C transpose sigma squared hat x transpose x inverse times C. And you can bring this sigma squared to the front. It doesn't matter. It's just a scalar quantity. Sigma squared C transpose x transpose x inverse times C. So now we have derived the mean and the variance of lambda hat. So if we're interested in doing a hypothesis test about lambda hat, where we have H0 is that la, not L, lambda hat, L hat is equal to L0 versus H1 is that L hat does not equal L0, then our formulation of our test statistic is still going to be a t-test. It is still a t-test, but now it's a t-test with, with uh, where the parameter of interest L hat follows the normal distribution with the mean of L which is C transpose beta, and the variance of sigma squared hat C transpose X transpose X inverse times C. And this is very similar to the formulation where we just have beta hat, which is distributed normally with the mean of beta and the variance of sigma squared times X transpose X inverse. We merely have the, to consider the constants in this case. Okay, so now, our test statistic capital T is equal to L hat minus L's value under H naught. This is the value of the linear combination under the null hypothesis. And then we have to divide this by the standard error of L hat. And the standard error of L hat, that's, this will be given by the square root of sigma squared hat, because we have to use the estimator, and this is the SSE over N minus P minus one, multiplied by C transpose times the matrix X transpose X inverse, and multiplied by C. So if we put this all into one neat little form, we have T is equal to C transpose beta hat minus L zero, divided by the square root of sigma squared hat multiplied by C transpose X transpose X inverse multiplied by C. So this is the form of your test statistic. And this is still just going to follow the T distribution with N minus P minus one degrees of freedom. Now that's how we, we formulate the um, linear, the T test for the a linear combination of regression parameters in our, in the matrix form. So now you might be asking, well, why would I do that? Or what can you give me an example, Alex? What would it look like? And what I'm going to use in this case, so we have known that L hat is equal to C transpose beta. So let's consider a, a, a multiple regression model where we, where we have Y is beta zero plus beta one X one plus beta two X two and plus beta three X three. So let's say we want to have H0 is that beta 0 plus 2 beta 2 must be equal to 2. This is our hypothesis that we are want to test. 
So this is the hypothesis that we want to test. This is our null hypothesis. So beta zero plus two beta zero must be equal to two. So what that means is, that means that C transpose beta must be equal to two. So, or specifically C transpose beta hat must be equal to two. And this means that we have uh, C transpose multiplied by beta hat. Beta hat we know can only be from these four regression parameters. So it's beta zero hat, beta one hat, beta two hat, and beta three hat. And L0 is going to be equal to 2. So our null hypothesis is then that H0 is that L hat is equal to 2. And the alternative hypothesis, let's say it's a two-tailed test, and that is that L hat does not equal to 2. So now we need to know what is the, this vector C transpose equal to. Well, if we look at it, we see that the coefficient in front of beta zero is one because it's one beta zero. Then the, there is no beta one. So that means that the coefficient of beta one, C one has to be zero. The coefficient of beta two in our null hypothesis is two. So that means that C two has to be two. And lastly, we don't see a beta three and a C three. So that means that C three is zero. So that means that C is equal to one zero two zero and that C transpose is equal to one zero two zero, the row vector. Now armed with this knowledge, if we have to construct the uh, test statistic, we know that the test statistic is going to be equal to C transpose beta divided by uh, the standard error of the hat. And if we were to write this, we would write it in this form. We would have one zero two zero, multiplied by beta zero, beta one, beta two, beta three, and don't forget the hats, minus the value of L zero, and L zero is two in this case, divided by the standard error of lambda hat, which is the square root of sigma squared hat, which is our mean squared error, multiplied by C transpose, and C transpose we know is one zero two zero, multiplied by the matrix X transpose X inverse. And then we need to multiply this matrix by the column vector C, which is one zero two zero. And if you multiply all of these things out, you will find your test statistics value, which will be T. And then again, this just follows a T distribution with N minus P minus one degrees of freedom. So if we were to look at the, um, the curve essentially, our rejection region, since we're looking at a two-tailed test, where it does not equal two, so let's say it's uh, here is two, so we are interested in a rejection region that is of this form. So we're going to be interested in, uh, to, in if the value of our test statistic is greater than the critical value here or less than the negative value of that critical value, then we will have our um, our, uh, we will be able to reject H0. So you can only reject H0 if and only if we have the value of the, the absolute value of the T statistic is greater than T at alpha over two and N minus P minus one degrees of freedom. So that's how we do hypothesis testing of a linear combination of regression uh, parameters in the matrix form of the linear regression model. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this video has been helpful to your studies in linear models and econometrics. Work Commander out.